Most people are going to tell you that you can make money on Fiverr by just creating a gig in something that you're interested in. People are going to fall into your lap and boom, you'll start making money. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you that A, that's not the case. B, I'm going to show you how you can actually do it so that you can start making some money. Now, it will require some upfront work from you, but it's something that a lot of people are doing and they're doing it to make money. So make sure you watch this entire video so that you can learn step by step how you can make money on Fiverr as a complete beginner. For the best tips and tricks to learn affiliate marketing and internet entrepreneurship, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you're notified when I upload a brand new video. Also click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start for my number one recommended way to start a full-time income online. Hello, I'm Austin with alstongodbolt.com. I'm an affiliate marketer and internet entrepreneur who's helped thousands of people across multiple platforms make passive income and today I want to help you. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. A lot of people are telling you on YouTube and other places that you can make money simply by creating gigs on Fiverr. Fiverr is a freelancing site that has hundreds of thousands of people trying basically to do the same thing. If we take a look at Fiverr, we're going to go to logo design, for example. So I typed in logo design. Right now, there are over 167,000 different services available. So basically what that means is 167,000 plus people have created a logo design gig on Fiverr. So it's going to be very difficult for someone that's brand new to stand out. And for the most part, most of the Columns here are saturated. There's a lot of people, a lot of competition. When you add into it that a lot of people are underbidding just so that they can get a gig, it's going to be very difficult in the beginning for you to potentially make some money unless you do what I'm about to show you. What I recommend that you do, of course, is first things first is you have to go over to Fiverr.com and you have to create a gig. Create gigs and things that you're interested in. Create gigs and things that you're interested in learning about. Uh, create a bunch of gigs. Once you create those gigs, what I recommend that you do is you jump over to, let me just switch to selling here, jump over to the back office, click on more, and then click on buyer requests. Now, the reason why you want to do this, I just want to show you this real quick and why this is going to make perfect sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply paste this in. Uh, this is one of the gigs that I have, desktop, laptop. Right now, there are 117 services, so not a ton, but it's still going to be kind of competitive especially since people are charging $10. If we jump back over to buying or selling, excuse me, and we go to more and we go to buyer request, you can see for similar services, there are only 11 offers. So 11 people have put in offers for this job and this job is actually willing to pay $50. Now I don't know exactly what this job requires, but you're giving yourself a much better opportunity, one in 12 in fact, if you go this route, if you do the buyer request instead of just trying to compete with everyone else, the key to making money online and the key to making money on Fiverr is you have to go out and take what you want. The people that just go and create a gig on, on Fiverr and hope that, hope that money comes to you usually wind up failing and they get frustrated and they quit. Um, but for being transparent and honest, I actually fell into that trap as well. I, I watched a ton of YouTube videos where people said, go ahead, create a, an account over on Fiverr and, and people will just find you. But when you look at the numbers and you see that there are hundreds of thousands of people that are looking to do the same or similar thing for a relatively low amount, it's a no brainer that you go over to the buyer request and you bid on these because you have a one in 12 chance. You have, what is that? An 8% chance of landing this versus hundreds of thousands of, of people that are fighting for the same thing. Now, it's vitally important that you go in here daily and you make bids. As you can see here at the top, you only have 10 offers that you can do per day, but that's 10 opportunities, 10 chances to find success. If you look down here, someone's actually requesting me to submit a bid. So basically what happens, and I'm gonna jump over to the other side so I can show you exactly what happens, is someone like me is going to want a logo design, for example. I'm going to create a custom gig. So I'm going to go down to manage request. Excuse me. I'm going to go to post a request. And because I don't want to sift through hundreds of thousands of people, I'm just going to type in, I'm looking for someone to create a logo or blog post or ebook, whatever it is. And I'm just going to select my category. For example, I'm going to select I think it was, let's do programming and tech. And then we can go to WordPress. And then we're going to select 
you know, seven days and my budget's going to be a hundred dollars, right? And so the person that's creating this, someone like myself that's looking for a logo design or will say, let me change it to WordPress developer, WordPress developer. So I'm looking for a WordPress developer that can make custom changes to um, a custom WordPress theme, we'll say. And what I always do, and the reason why I'm telling you is so that you can find success, is I'll put in a sentence or two of something that I want you to say in your response so that I know that you're reading it. For example, I'll say, um, please respond with, uh, we'll say, a table in the first sentence. And the reason why I do that, and a lot of people do it, is so that we're making sure that you are reading the description or the request. What usually happens is a lot of people are just bulk applying so that it gives them a chance to, you know, figure it out and potentially get a job. And so what I recommend that you do is go through, read it, make sure you follow all the directions and make sure that you can do the work. Uh, one of the worst things that you could do is apply for something, get hired and then not have any idea how to do it. And so what we would do is we're, I'm, I just want to clean this up real quick. All right, that's better. All right, so what I would do is I'd click submit a request and it's going to recommend some people that could potentially do it. And if I jump back over to the other side, I could potentially see my own request. If I click on more, go to buyer request, hopefully I see it. I probably won't, but the chances are, okay, so I didn't see it, but that request I just created would potentially land up here if you have a gig for it already. You have to create a gig. If I click on gigs, you have to create a gig that is relevant to the request. That's why you're only seeing two for me because there are only two active gigs that are relevant to this. So that's why I recommend that you create a bunch of gigs so that it will give you a bunch of opportunities to apply and potentially make it. So that's what you have to do step by step. Create a Fiverr account, obviously, then create a bunch of different gigs. Head on over to more, as you can see here, and then you're going to go down to buyer requests and you are going to apply to the re request. Now, when you're applying to the request, make sure that you are reading the request. That is very, very important. If you don't read the request, don't expect to get hired. Now that you know how to get started on Fiverr as a complete beginner, click the first link in the description for my number one recommended way to start a full-time income online. When you click that first link, you'll be taken to a free training where you'll learn how to get started step by step. Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbold.com forward slash start. Watch these videos next to learn more tips and tricks to make money online. Also check out my website alstongodbold.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.